sick. And here we are. We're gonna start making some sliders for the big girl. He'll go from being this to this. So I used a 32 nominal ball, which is a medium wall thickness, and the RHS is 50 by 50 in three mil thick. These tube benders actually work pretty well as long as you use uh, the correct size tubing. Here I'm just getting my measurements up just to find where I need to cut my tubing to make the right length and width and for it to stick off the car enough. Cut both of them and then I'll be able to tell how much of an angle I want it on. So what I'll do is I'll go off this and I'll put it on a degrees, like a certain set degree. At least that way I can have a reference point rather than try and guess by the time. Mm -hmm. a little level that I can put it on and put it on the bar and get the right angle. And then what I'll do is I'll cut these to suit what angle I want. So that's like, that's level step. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, we don't want that. We no. Want... Get level. Three there. So let's cut like 15 mil and see what it looks like. So what were your measurements? Uh, it's 23 degrees, I believe. I cut 15 mil out of it from being level. And I think it actually suits pretty well. Which is nice. Yeah, and you can still open your door. Yeah, just. I was just tacking each end to make sure I didn't have to cut complete welds back off if it didn't suit the set degrees I had measured for. As you can see here, I'm carrying it to the car just to make sure it was going to be right. So I tested it with the door and I could still open it. So now I'm going to do full passes and completely weld this on. So we cut notched in our little join pieces in the middle. I'm just going through and welding a couple of them on now. Um, once I cut one and got it right, I just traced it so I could just copy it, transfer it over. So I'm just going through and welding these on, then I'll be able to sort of sit it up against the car and have a look. Yeah, and sit it against the car, have a look. I went one in the middle and one in the middle of that, so they're about oh, 400 mil, 450 mil spacing. So I'm not an expert, I'm just here in me half a shed, as we can see and making what I can with these hands. So here's my mounting plates that we made up. Uh, 50 mil by five mil. And I've just cut them to suit what I need. They're sort of like a, um, a pinch plate to go over the chassis. So it's not gonna really hang much lower than what I've already got in the way here. I've got one here and one at the back. This is as far as I can get forward. So I'm about 500 from the front of it. Um, because I got the radius arm here, I've got a few things in the way, same with that side. So these work good here, and then I'll get one close to the back. Now I'm just going to make a bracket to weld onto here to hold the weight of these. Um, and once we do that, we just that's pretty much the first side done. Pretty much, we should be good. That's actually pretty quick. Yeah, that's not bad. And then obviously paint and whatnot. There's still a little bit of prep work to go. I've got to cap the end of this tube so it doesn't fill up with water. So we're just up under this car, testing our little mountain brackets that we've um, put here. So the back one's on. And I'll mark it so it's ready to be welded onto this bar, which will then take all the weight. I might put... Um, a little triangle gusset in. We'll see how strong it is once I sort of do it. I think it might be pretty strong, but just for over engineering anyway, it won't hurt. Now this one, because I've mounted it on part of the chassis and it kicks, I've actually got to cut this on an angle to close that gap to make it weld a bit better. It does have to come in a little bit. So down that end, I'm running along, there's like a body mark along there. This one here, I'm touching it, it's about 5 or 10 million. So that should give me enough to bring that a bit closer and be able to mount it. I'll take this out. 
there's no bolt in it. And that's my body mark there. As you can see, it sort of follows along that line. So yeah, we'll take, that one's good, we'll leave that in, we'll go cut this one and bring it back. Uh, the first one's all made up. We're just running a quick little prime over the galvanized steel. We're just gonna use um, like an epoxy black, which is like a top coat. Um, I'm not gonna go full ham on them because they're probably gonna get scratched a little bit. But as you can see, we're all mounted systems up. I'm just gonna run a nice little prime over it. I'll start making the second one. And um, yeah, we'll put those end caps on. So they're not gonna fill up with water. I'm gonna black over it tonight, hopefully. Let them dry overnight. Um, yeah, epoxy, enamel, it's black. Gloss finish, so it should be good. So we finished making the second one this morning. We got most of it done last night. We had a couple small things to do this morning and check. I've just put some paint down on that one. I'm about to clean the shed because it is a mess. And then we just bolted the first one on then. Now that it's all black. Yep, <laughs> looks pretty good. Beautiful. So yeah, if we can withstand me, then it won't matter when I drop a three-ton car on a rock. It's fine. Science. It's just how it works. And as for door clearance, it's uh, great. You got about 20 mil between door and bar, so it'd be perfectly fine. This is finished product on both sides now. So this is the driver's side and you'll see the passenger side in a minute. I will be giving them a proper repaint as they've already scratched quite a bit due to jumping in and out and your feet rubbing against the paint. All done now. Less than 24 hours. We've got this side and the other side done. The only thing I'd recommend doing, if you're gonna do it yourself, make your mounts first and just test fit them. I had troubles on the other side I drilled one of the holes in the wrong spot pretty straightforward design to make they're pretty solid I was standing on them before as you've probably already seen I just used an epoxy enamel black paint just out of the can just they're rock sliders yeah they're, you're gonna be repainting yeah, it they're gonna get bashed so at least if it's out of a can it's probably easy to probably easy to just respray on I mean I just touched the other one up on the other side a little bit after I did some stuff but yeah let me know what you think. I think they come up pretty good. Because next up is the 80 series. Should be getting some as well. We've got to test them out, eh? <laughs>